Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixel Parties here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice. Where we left off. Trees in jail, and we're trying to save her. And we bet the crime scene. We did the, the the hokey pokey and turned the scene around to see where the dead body was. It took to see the you coffin. long enough, though. Listen. <laughs> so now we're gonna do forensic science. Oh yes, please. There's always room for dessert, right? I mean, desert, sorry, desert. Mm, all right, <laughs> I guess I'll join you two. <laughs> I'll go to the desert with you. So could you show us how to check for Prince Emma? Bip. <laughs> Sure, let's start with the basics. As you know, fingerprints are an excellent way of identifying someone. That's because no two people have the same set of fingerprints, not even twins. So if we find any prints on the coffin, they might lead us to the killer? If the culprit was dumb enough to leave prints behind, sure. Let's go ahead and dust for prints now. The dusting. Scientifically speaking. Let's see. This looks like a promising spot. Try dusting the area with fingerprint powder. Keep tapping the touch screen until the power cover powder covers the surface thoroughly. When you're done, blow into the mic to get rid of the excess powder. Or press the blow button. Press B to blow! B to blow! Powder in this bottle is all we have to work with. If you run out, try blowing into the mic. Any excess powder will be returned to the bottle. Interesting. Interesting. Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready to give it a try. So, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, which which one is the dust button? There's the dust. Ooh. There we go. Dust it all! Oh god. <laughs> we can find it. Don't worry, we're gonna find it. We got enough pattern there to fill up this whole screen. Oh jeez. Because it's very sensitive to work around so I'll make sure I'll get yeah. every, every bit of this fingerprint I can oh my and then God. Whoosh, whoa whoosh, nailed hey it. you found some prints looks like the fingers are somebody's left hand high five now let's try comparing the did you just touch them I <laughs> just wanted to high five let's try comparing these with the ones we have on file first touch analyze and uh, to select a print okay um Next, look the print you want to analyze and touch confirm. Most so of the, the times it'd be the, it's usually a thumb, and that's also the the like the most sturdy one. Yeah, there, that, that's so. what I mean. Yeah, but like always, it's like the thumb print that's in the database. Usually, them. I've got a pretty clear print here. I wonder whose it is. I have the prints of everyone involved in the case right here. Just choose the person whose prints you'd like to compare the sample against. Well, the I last saw the person who was in the coffin was. I saw that too. I figured these would be, yeah, they're definitely his. The great Mr. Rius. Yes. Huh, is that a match? Let me use science to figure mm. out because my eyeballs can't do that <laughs> on my own. Nailed it. Bingo. Looks like the prints belong to the deceased, Mr. Rius. Well, if we found prints here, Maybe we can find them elsewhere on the coffin, too. Are we going to find his right hand prints over there? I think let's try to some former prints. Oh, wait, that's the beat. That's the blow that's button. The blow button. <laughs> I just, I'm just so used to that being the action button in this game that I'm I just like, I don't know why you go all over the place. Why don't you just do it strategically and go like row by well, row along? Because. Like left, right, left, right. Because right. I'm chaotic. <sighs> Nailed it. I, but. You put more powder on there. <laughs> I didn't think I need more. Yes. Come on. Give it to me. Why am I, Why is it not? I mean, I feel like I have a pretty set print here. Or oh, do I? Oh, I can analyze already. I don't wow, need. Wow, you just. <laughs> well, usually in the other games, they were always sort of like, "Okay, you got it. Go for it." Remember? They'd always tell you when you I got guess. it. Yes. There, I found some. These prints are apparently Mr. Rius's too. Hmm. Shall we try looking for prints on the outside of the coffin now? Yes, let's. So he I've was never, like this. We was like, I've never heard Apollo hmm. talk like that. Yes, let's. I know. That's too official for Apollo. Okay. You'd think he'd be like, yeah, sure. Yeah. But you know, this time you'll be able to rotate the coffin and look at it from different angles. That'll give you a chance to examine it thoroughly. If you ever get stuck or confused, you can always touch reset. Okay. Okay. And if I find <laughs> a prince, I'll choose one to run against your data, just like before. 
cool. But yeah, judging by the handprints, he was like that in it with his hands yeah, on the side. Yeah, he was backwards as if he'd come out of the ladder. Because I think the I mean, it wasn't really specific because they've only really given us the one front angle. Mm -hmm. But you'd think the ladder would be towards the back. But I could be wrong. But I think my idea is I want to try and check the back door area maybe. Mm. Let me like uh... No. no. Uh, I have to be very specific with this. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a thingy up top here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me analyze that bad boy. There. I got a print. All right. I'll just check it against my data. Huh? That's funny. It doesn't match the prints of anyone involved in this case. Really? None of them? How can that be? Now then, I wonder if I can find any more prints. We're just gonna gloss over that. <laughs> All right. So can I find any other kind of? Maybe down there. This is the other, this is another good place to check because you'd have to push the trap door from under. So. Or not. Hey, are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Stop blowing. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta blow off the excess powder oh, true, so I get it back, yeah. and it's really weird how they make you. Oh my There's god. There's still some is... on there. I know, I'm trying my there best here. Okay, so now that I've got this whole thing flipped, turned around upside down. Oh, what uh, about the... Uh, wait, is there is there is this just a... Okay, no, that was residue. What about the, the, the handle on the thingy? Right there. Nope, there, yeah. Okay. The handle. Let me try this. All right, that's the blow button. All right, get a little bit of uh, stuff right there. I mean, it would be on the other... It, it would... No, the, 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 huh? The green part by it. Try that. Going for it. Poof. 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 Oh my god. Uh, poof it. Nope. Wait. 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 Is there something? Because that part's not coming back to me. Uh, let me see if I can move the... It's oh so my funky. God, this is, it's a little weird to use, but... Because that... Wasn't coming back. Oh, yeah. There yep. is something there. See, I was right. I just want you to be very, very specific with it. So, analyze. Right. Mm. They'll get the journal just yeah. area. There we go. I found another print. Judging from its position and location. Looks like someone was in there. I and mean, someone pulled the slid from on the coffin. Let's see now. Where was one part during the show where someone put this lid on? After she's had gotten into the coffin. Therefore, this print should belong to... I'm trying to look at it. Ah, yep. it's Bonnie. Bon Bon? No, no. <laughs> A little bit of FNAF reference for you there. <laughs> <clears throat> Clear my throat of all Jesus. that phlegm in there. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm a phlegmy boy. Looks like the print belongs to that bunny girl. Come That's to think of it. Thinking. She did put the lid on the coffin during the show. That's probably what we should have to print on the lid. The lid. The lid. L -l 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 Stop! <laughs> hey, that timing. Looks like that's about all the prints we're going to find. To sum everything up, the prints we found belong to the victim, Mr. Rius, the bunny assistant, Bonnie, and some third unidentified person. There's always an identified person that but comes that's out. That's strange. Later. We didn't see anybody else up there on that stage during the show. Does this mean some outsider was up there? Somebody unrelated to the show? Hmm, I guess we can't really say at this point. Well, thank goodness we didn't find any of Trucy's fingerprints, right? But that's only because Trucy was wearing gloves. Hey, Emma, there's something else that's been, that's been bothering me about the prints. Isn't there something odd about Mr. Reese's prints? Odd? What's odd about them? Well, if Mr. Reese was standing in the coffin facing forward, It'd be the other way around. They'll yeah. have prints like this, right? When we look at the actual prints... He's facing the back. Yeah. They're facing backwards. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Hey, what do you know? You're right. I wonder how they wound up like that. Maybe he was accidentally facing the wrong way at first, but then turned around later? No, the coffin is much too small for a guy of his size to turn around in. About all you would have been able to manage is maybe a little bit of twisting. Then it really doesn't make any sense, does it? 
I think I might have hit something in a major, major here. Are you okay? Oh, I have just one more question, Emma. Oh, yeah? What is it? Will you marry me? I mean, what? What? Well, you all got the dinner? So, this was a step in the back, right? <laughs> but if he was standing in the coffin like this, how'd that have worked? That's what I was thinking, too, the second we found his prints like that. Oh, right. That. The lead prosecutor has an explanation, actually. He thought that the victim might have tried to dodge the sword as it came into the coffin. So maybe he twisted his body and the sword ended up stabbing him in the back. That's his theory, anyway. I see. I guess that sounds plausible. He's a professional. He knows if you twist sideways, you got a lot more surface to hit than if you're normal. You can just be like, eh, eh, and you can dodge it. <laughs> Jesus. I have to verbally describe it because <laughs> I can't, the, the people can't see me twisting my body around. But. That's what you were doing? Yeah. Oh. Right, think about results. You look like you had a stomachache or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm just dancing over here. <laughs> well, I guess that about wraps up our investigation on the stage. Actually, there's still the area behind that curtain. Yeah, but that one left back there Don't yet. Don't you want to know what's back there? Sure do, but Emma told us not to move or touch anything, remember? <laughs> She's right there. It, you want you, you want to change that stance? Would you quit staring at me? Fine, I'll we'll open it for you. Jeez. Wow, look at you flaunting your lady killer eyes. <laughs> I have my ways. I'm only doing this so I don't get charged with animal abuse for not throwing you a bone. Uh, oh. Oh! Ho, ho! <laughs> I guess puppy eyes can be just as effective. So is that a no to the dinner then? <laughs> uh, um, hmm. I guess not. All right, Sorry. I'll be back. Okay. Love you. What? Uh, what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> a guillotine. What? And a ladder that oh, goes yeah. up to the top. Well, go on and investigate to your heart's content before you go moving anything. I know, I know. We'll be sure to ask first. Oh, by the way, just examine the backstage to move to the area beyond the curtain. Okay, time to get investigating. Again. Examine the backstage area. Mm -hmm. Seeing the stage this way kind of breaks the illusion, doesn't it? You just goes to show that some things are better left unseen. Oh, listen to you, sounding all grown up and stuff. I'm older than you. Don't worry, I'm <laughs> sure you'll have some cynical one-liners of your own someday, too. Oh boy, I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, on to more pressing matters. Let's go examine that backstage area. Beep, 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 boop, boop, pop. I love sarcasm. Another box. He's like, oh okay, boy. There's, 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 okay, number one, we're not going to talk about this broken stuff back here, but a bucket. Bucket. A dustpan, a broom, and a bucket. Guess they use these to keep the stage tidy. I know that's what this bucket is for, though. See how it says fire on it? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I guess it's a fire bucket then. You throw fire. <laughs> yes, I heard the theater owner went out and bought that just for this show. When he heard there was going to be a fire trick, he flew to the store to get it. But can a little bucket like this really put out a raging fire? I'm guessing Yuner thought it could. But it doesn't look like it's been used. In fact, that inside is caked with dust. What was the point of even buying the bucket then? Wait a minute. That means nobody actually prepared for the fire trick after all. I have a feeling this might be an important bit of information. It's a yeah. good point, because the fire trick is supposed to come afterwards. But if the owner wasn't worried about a fire in the first place, he figured that trick was never going to happen. Yeah. Mm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting. It'd be interesting if we find out that that, that set of X fingerprints is the owner's on top of the box. I don't know about that one, Chief. What is this thing? It's a winch. It's a winch. I guess they used to pull, uh, use it to pull Mr. Hat up. Oh, look. There are two winches. One back there and one up here. Apparently, each winch was rigged up to something different. One of them was used to hold up the dragon set piece. Yep. And then Mr. Hat. Well, the other was connected to that weird puppet up on the catwalk. That's Mr. Hat. Get that right, Emma. <laughs> A weird puppet, huh? I better go check out the catwalk later. On the catwalk, yeah. Mm. Okay, guillotine. Apollo is well acquainted with Mr. Hat. Yeah. It's a guillotine. But it's not real. It's just another one of Trucy's props. Or is it? <laughs> what if it was supposed to appear in the show? Huh? You mean she didn't mention it to you? 
She said you were going to make a guest appearance on stage for her guillotine trick. What? No, I definitely remember not agreeing to something that loses in my head on national TV. <laughs> and then this box, a clone of sorts. There's a coffin back here, too. Looks like there's a stuffed dragon inside. No, wait, look. It's just an illusion. Uh, see? The dragon looks like it's inside. But it's really just painted on the front lid. Oh, oh wow, you're right. That's really something else. Phoenix. Not Phoenix. Apollo. God. <laughs> It's weird when they sound the same. I'm okay. trying to make him as cracky as I can. I'm also very tired. I know. I'm like, <laughs> oh, judge you. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that next. Oh, mask the mask, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Naruto. Okay. If the show hadn't been canceled, there might we might have gotten to see this trick too, huh? Maybe. All right, so now we have a ladder and an understage area. Let's look at the understage oh, peaky Oh, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> There's something that says understage about these stairs go to the understage area. Trucy told me she and her fellow magicians call it the abyss. I wonder why. Who knows? Maybe because it's really dark down there or something. The abyss. <laughs> oh, I bet they go all kinds of magical goodies stashed away down there. Come on, let's go check it out. Huh? The door is locked. The entrance to the abyss is barred to mere mortals like us, huh? Oh, well, that's what you call swinging a bit and swinging an abyss. Wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. Apollo. Apollo. Wow, boy. You're better than that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Looks like this ladder leads to the catwalk overhead. Oh, no, catwalk. Oh, no. Do I really have to go up there? Do I really have to do that joke again? Why don't you go up and check it out, Athena? I'm sure you'll like the air up there. Huh? Where in the world did you get that idea from? Wait a minute. Huh? Are you saying I'm an airhead? How rude can you get? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. Now, up you go. I'll just wait down here on the ground. Okay, now I'm starting to get the picture. You're afraid of heights, aren't you, Paul? No, 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 no. Come on now. This is for Trucy. She needs us. So up to the catwalk we go. On the catwalk. Yeah, well, I guess time to put my big boy pants. He's just like Phoenix. Phoenix hates heights too, remember? Yeah. Okay. That's fitting. Ooh. 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 Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Are you all Don't right, down. Apollo? Don't like You're down. white as a sheet. Don't like that. Don't like that. Like ha, 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 ha. I'm fine. Don't look down. Just this. Don't look down. Oh, my God. Oh, Those that. green things over there look like cushions. I guess one of them was used to absorb the force of impact when Mr. Hat zipped into it. Let's go check it out. Oh, way over there. <laughs> Away from the safety rails. <laughs> all right. There is like a Mr. Hat or something up here. As well, yeah. so let's look at it. Hmm, what's that? Is that fake, Mr. Hat? Look, Apollo, it's Mr. Hat. He's dashed to a wire. Actually, didn't you say something like <laughs> they couldn't raise Mr. Hat up by wire into a cushion on the catwalk? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the stagehands pulled Mr. Hat up and left him here afterwards? The wire attached to his back. Looks like he's connected to one of the winches down below. Huh? The Shat's cape is ripped. Did it happen during the show? That's odd. It almost looks fine. Almost, almost looks, like looks not fine. It was slashed with a blade. How in the world did that happen? Hmm. Apollo, I see what you're- I see that you're trying to take this all in stride, and I respect that. But seriously, you're trembling like a newborn fawn up here! Get it together, man! I, I can't help it! God! <laughs> He's just <All> right. <laughs> The bunny stars the giant winches. I'm surprised you didn't say moon. <laughs> uh, oh, that is a moon. <laughs> you're <Oops>. like, bunny <laughs> stars... Alright, I guess we're gonna look at the Stars. <laughs> other cushions here. <laughs> hey, look! There are cushions attached to the underside. Well, what are you standing way over there for? Come on over and look! You're not gonna try and push me off, are you? Seriously, Apollo? Come on, you'll be fine. Here, do you want me to hold your hand? Y y yes, actually, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Looks like you're right. Tracy mentioned something about this, didn't she? That a cushion was supposed to observe the force of impact when the hat was pulled up? Mm. Something's fishy about all the... Yeah. They like said there's something... Especially with the second shadow. That's the biggest thing that's making all of it fishy since day one. Bunny. The set pieces look like a rabbit and a moon. Although, they kind of look like they could be a duck and a croissant, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> the rabbit and duck thing. <laughs> what do they look like to you, Apollo? Uh, uh, the, the Grim Reaper and a guy falling to his death. Oh, my God. Come on. Let's wrap up this investigation before your imagination catches up with you. Jesus. Okay. And I think all I have left is the winches, and then we're good to go on here. Well, that's a big pulley. <laughs> For real. Let's connect to the one of the winches down below. Mm. The dragon set piece must have been hanging from this. Interesting. Uh, okay, and then there's this one. Clicky do. And then what about that? Looks like Mr. Hat is rigged to the smaller pulley. Let's see. How'd it go? After being blown a kiss, Mr. Hat goes wild and just as he is about to stab the coffin, he gets pulled up to the catwalk. And the smoke screen was to hide his ascent from the audience's view. Well, I think that about does it for the catwalk. Do you think we missed any? Nope, no, nope, did miss a single thing. If we're all done here, yes, sir. I take it you're ready to go down? Yes. Yeah, I think we better. I feel a little faint spell coming. Oh, oh. It falls off the catwalk. Oh, God. Oh, brother. You don't need me to hold your hand again, do you? I can only climb down a ladder with one hand. That would be very dangerous. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I think that is everything, everything over here now, so. All done? Pretty much. There's just one thing. The door to the interstage passage was locked. Anyone we can get down there? That place? They locked it up as soon as we, as soon as we police finished our investigation down there. If you want to check it out, you'll have to ask a magician. Well, she's at the dungeon center, so she can't help us. I guess we'll have to look for somebody else from the show. Okay, then I'd better get back to my own investigation. See you around. See you later, alligator. Love you. What? What? <laughs> this is too bad about the understage here. <laughs> but at least we learned a few, a, few, a few new things. Yeah, like one of your greatest fears. <laughs> and I wasn't talking about that. I meant how all the behind the scenes stuff is set up. Wait till Mr. Wright hears about this one. He'll be like, yeah. I feel you, man. Yeah, I yeah, feel no. you. <laughs> you can bond over a mutual fear. Yeah. Well, let's see. We found out there are two winches backstage. Mr. Hat was rigged to the first winch. And the dragon set piece was attached to the other one. Winch is such a funny word. <laughs> it's like a weird way. Of, it's like someone trying to say witch. Yeah. While eating like a peanut butter sandwich. Winch. Okay. And both of them were used during the show. Right after the body was discovered, the dragon set piece fell to the stage. And in the chaos that ensued, the culprit could have switched the rubber sword with the real one. So looks like the best way to prove Tracy's innocence is to identify the real killer. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, oh it's, it's that it's, dude. It's homeboy. Like, oh, his giant, the giant yeah. death. Before we get into him, like the biggest thing that shows something like really weird that we got to figure out about the murder is the fact that Mr. Rius has a pulley on his back that would be used on one of the winches well he was flying before remember they they, they talked about that and that's still a detail that they wouldn't put there unless it was necessary i know but that that's the reason why he had it on there in the first place yes but the point is that it's supposed to be used in I some know. fashion yeah, 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 yeah. all right let me start and see if i can do this voicing let me get some mountain dew quick <laughs> <laughs> why is there a maybe it's his prince cool. maybe he's the owner i don't know oh what a complete not a mess this is all great, just great. Oh, you're Jon Snow. <laughs> oh, that white kid. <laughs> oh, that right kid is bush league small potatoes. A half grown has been. <laughs> huh? There's somebody <laughs> on the stage. Best voice. I wonder who it is and what they're doing. Maybe we should go talk to them. Hey! 
Hey. <laughs> Hey, uh, you. Yeah, okay, uh, maybe I'll examine him. Sir? That's Fine fellow? Excuse me! Are you coming to the show? What? You two got a couple more headaches for me to handle? I got my hands full as it is. Hey, I remember this guy. Are you there? What the heck's going on? They wouldn't even let me in. Me for crying out loud. Me, John Stone. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ranch, there was an accident during the show. Yeah. An accident? Great, just great. That's all I need right now. Do you have any idea how much money was sticking into this program? It's that man who was going off on the staff in the front of the theater. I ain't never seen you guys before. If I had to guess, I'd say on the production staff. Must I spot my little lie? An attorney's badge. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you do? <laughs> I didn't know you fine folks were lawyers. Oh my god. My business card, if you would. Charm to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, um, thank you, sir, from the TV station, I take it? Shoppers attack, are you? You are. I'm the producer of this TV special. Shoppers attack, oh, are you? Yeah, by the way. <laughs> I'm Apollo Justice, Trucy Wright's defense attorney. Trucy Wright's. Uh, oh, never mind. Whoa! Well, it's a lot of money. <laughs> Why ain't that a kick in the head? I bet you open that with that tidbit next time, champ. Uh, okay. What am I gonna schmoozy magoo bit? Schmoozy magoo? What? I'm Roger Rittens. Rittens. Hold the applause. And no graphs, kids. I'm on the clock. Apollo, this guy looks really familiar, but I can't quite. Really, kid? I try on this for uh, this off his eyes. Hang loose, baby. Hang loose, baby. <gasps> Apollo! It's a raging Raja from Take Two TV. He's huge, crazy huge, like a real famous producer. Really? I've never heard of him. Seriously, man? What kind of cave did you crawl out of? Roger Ritten's the ratings Raja. Tons of the TV screens. Still not ringing a bell. You may see my hit Saturday night talk show at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. Uh, no, but I have heard of Pixel Eastern, Partners. At, <laughs> I have heard of Pixel Partners that, three, that upload at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central every day. <laughs> with Phoenix Wright all the time. I mean, I, I can't say that I have. Oh, my God. You blew my mind, kid. You even know what a TV is? Say it with me. Television. <laughs> um, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about the incident? No, no, no. What kind of comeback is that? Grow some backbone, kid. I basically lobbed one at you. Now hit me with your best bob. Viewers will love that. <laughs> Come on. You gotta sell it. <laughs> S sell what? I'm an attorney. <laughs> Say something funny for the nice people at home. Go on, hit me with your best shot. Fire away. My, my best shot? We're all in here. Hurry up before they change the channel. Chop, chop. Um. Uh, uh, okay. Here oh goes. Oh, no. T talk to the hand. Kapow. Ow. Oh, ow. Kapow? What's... What are you... Like... Kapow? Really? And why are you pointing all dramatically like we're in court? I, I don't know. You just seem like the thing to do. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know you. <laughs> Apollo. Oh, this is going on the cringe reel for sure. I think we're gonna go all agree that this was a mistake. I choked any harder, I'd need the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> I blame myself, really. Should have known better than to waste a good film on a nobody. Oof. <laughs> so you want an exclusive of what? Jeez. <laughs> well, then, let's talk, you little fucking little twelve waffle. Today's match show was being. Jeez, calm uh, down. Today's uh, uh, <laughs> show was being broadcast live on TV, wasn't it? And you're the producer, right? That's right. Rise of Magic's Office is old school grammar. It was gonna be wild. We were gonna have viewers vote for their favorite magician during the show. The loser would have had a really embarrassing prank done on him. It was gold, I tell you, guaranteed ratings. I don't know, it sounds kind of tacky if you ask me. Oof. I'm telling you, man, modern viewers eat this stuff up with a spoon, trust me. All we gotta do is serve up nice and hot. A feast for the eyes. I like junk food for the brain. Jeez, <laughs> Apollo, how old are you? Let the money talk, You sure you're boy. not 50? <laughs> but that little brat had to go and ruin everything with that accident of hers. You have any idea how many times they dragged me over here to prepare for today? 
He like, really is like <laughs> freaking Tony Stark fanning himself with a yeah. lot of cash like that. He must have known this theory pretty well if he came by that often. Oh, that gives me an idea. How about this? Mad minds give a magician of a magical murderess. Close, seal, closest comrades come clean. Tell me, is Trissy always showing signs of being unhinged? <laughs> when could you tell she was about ready to snap? This guy's cruising for a bruise in Apollo. As long as you don't get caught on camera. Truth be told, I'm not surprised about the way things turned out. This is pretty much the dredges of society, am I right? You mean dregs? Dregs? <laughs> Fuck. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know what? We'll find out what that's supposed to mean and learn more about this man. I don't like Next this time. man. He's, 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 he's... Pretentious? He's, he's something. I'll he's, give him that. I don't like him. He looks like he got his... He looks like his outfitter is a bullfighter. Uh, <laughs> like you mean Christ. a matador? Yeah, that, yeah, that one. Yeah, like, that one. He, his design isn't bad, but no. I just don't like his person. I was just trying to do low-key diss. No, I know. Loki. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Spoilers. oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what, a, what a random ending. Rude.